My name is Mimi Tran. Uh, my major is in painting, drawing, and printmaking, and I'm a junior. We come here all the time for to see exhibitions, and we also sell our art outside of MoCA. So we use this as a tool for education and putting our own work out there. So it's helped us a lot to give us inspiration and networking. It's crazy because I, I would have never thought in a million years that I would be able to have my work in the Museum of Contemporary Art. I'm Kirsten Williams and my major is PDP, which is printmaking, painting, and drama. And I'm a junior. As a student, it's always, always resourceful to come here like during class time and um, get the inspiration from other artists. Looking at all this work is very, it's surreal. It, it gives young artists an opportunity to show their work. My name is Bonita Phillips. I'm a, a fine arts major with PDP, so it's painting, drawing, and printmaking, and I'm also a, a senior. I really enjoy coming here. Uh, it's more of a resource, so I can come over here and then look at the other artworks to see what inspires me for my work that I do myself. I never thought I would be displaying a work of mine um, in a museum like this. I've always been coming here to the MOCA since I was really little, probably since kindergarten. So every time I come here throughout the years, I was like, one day, one day, one day, if it ever happens, and then here it is today, and I'm like just so overwhelmed by it, because it's amazing. It's like, oh, my work is here. My name is Rachel Hub smith and I'm the UNF Student Artist in Residence at MOCA Jacksonville. Uh, it is a great uh, opportunity that I was selected as the 2017-2018 uh, Student Artist in Residence. And so um, the residency is an amazing opportunity for uh, one UNF student to be selected uh, after a proposal process to have one semester uh, studio space uh, working at the museum and then to have uh, a three month art show. In the fall, I was able to move into the studio at, uh, at MOCA and it's uh, just an amazing space to be able to work in and it's really, really fabulous to be able to come to a museum every day to make artwork. MOCA is really flexible for how uh, the student artist in residence is going to use utilize the space. So the space is, is there in that there's a minimum of 10 hours a week that you're required to be there, but the you know the maximum is basically uh, whenever the museum is open. And so I really wanted to dive in and take it uh, take it on as a full-time uh, working artist opportunity. So it was it was really a fabulous step as uh, to go to transition from being uh, really a student to, to working as a full-time artist while still having the support and the mentorship and the guidance and even the facilities of a UNF. One of the great, greatest opportunities of being the Red Student Artist in Residence is having the studio space in the museum. So first of all, the, the studio itself is just an amazing space. It's on the fifth floor, it has giant uh, windows, so there's tons of natural light. So it was really, really a great facility for me to be able to set up all my paints, to be able to really work, and um, I was able to have the door open and be able to interact with uh, people who came through the museum, or if I really needed some thinking time, I could just close my door and just focus and have that individual space. And um, one of the best things about being in the museum was being able to interact with the public. So I really enjoyed the art walk evenings and be able to just have a steady stream of people coming through who wanted to know what I was doing and wanted to understand more about the work. And um, one of the really best things about that, that you would not get as an individual uh, studio space or or even as a student you have a critique situation where um, you know you get feedback from other art students but it's not the same as getting feedback from the public and from non-artists and uh, almost always when you make a piece there's something that you want to communicate and then so understanding how people receive that communication is really really important and having that feedback from non-artists to hear what they see in the work and to hear you know what their experience is or, or what their read is on it is, is really, really helpful to both see, you know, is, is what I'm communicating uh, being received or is it relevant and, and to go through that whole thought process as you're creating the work. So the opening night was really a great, exciting uh, opportunity to celebrate the accomplishment and I was really thrilled to see the, all the community members who came out in addition to my family and friends and colleagues and it was just really a great celebration. 
For me, the most important aspect of being an art student and having the opportunity to be uh, a student artist in residence at a museum is making that transition between being a student and being a professional. Because uh, for so many art students, you graduate and then it's like, okay, what next? <laughs> you know, and that transition can be really, really difficult. So um, having already been practiced through the, the process of, of putting a show in a public institution and all of those kinds of things is, is really a powerful way to make that transition. And I feel, I feel like I'm in a completely different uh, place now, having had that experience than I would have been if I had a, put my show on a, at a different venue where I didn't have um, that experience of being able to work with the museum staff. So MOCA is a valuable institution as far as the partnership between MOCA as a cultural resource to UNF because so often um, a lot of our exposure to art might be online, it might be in books, but to be able to actually go and see the pieces themselves is a totally transformative experience. It's, it's, uh, it's the difference in actually experiencing something as opposed to just kind of observing it. I wouldn't be where I am without the incredible support of all the professors and um, this opportunity is, is one of many that have, have really grown and developed me into the artist that, that I am and, that, and, and, I, and also the artist that I will continue to grow into being. So I'm, I'm just really thankful.